Another sign of our nation stepping away from God as Minnesota Governor Tim Walls has signed an executive order that is banning the sharing of Jesus with LGBT youth. What is going on? And we're going to get into all the details of this, guys. Off at top, I mentioned if you would like to make a generous donation to our ministry, the links to do so are down below. We are demonetized here on YouTube. They don't support Christian conservative content creators like myself. We have PayPal or Patreon set up for you down below. Even just five bucks a month on Patreon, you get bonus content. We also include the links for the YouTube videos to make sure you get alerted every time new content arrives. Then when you're there, why not just comment on the video censorship free? Because you can avoid YouTube blocking and hiding your comments because they're doing it more and more now, guys. All right. Then also go sub to me over on Rumble. All right. That's our backup in case we're kicked off of YouTube. So go check out what we're posting there. All the links are down below. Also, please like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, and wear the glasses because I'm blind. Let's talk about Governor Tim Walls here in Minnesota. This is very similar uh, to his little buddy, governor over there in uh, Wisconsin who signed a similar bill that is trying to limit sharing Jesus with those who identified themselves as to be LGBT youth. And uh, the, the, the big word here that they like using is the, uh, or the phrase conversion therapy is what they want to use because that basically states that you're sitting down with one of these teenagers you know, let's take a Christian counselor, for example, all right? And this is a teen, this is a youth, somebody who is struggling with this unwanted attraction to the same sex. But of course, governors like Walls and so many others, well, they don't want that because they believe that it's an intrusion into their lifestyle, that you are trying to force them out of that life, that you're trying to suggest that they weren't born that way, and that extreme measures are used in order uh, to go through with this so-called therapy. Now, it has been on record before that, yes, there were uh, treatments that, you know, or, or, were terrible that were used back in the day, but that's not what I'm talking about here, okay? We're just talking about counselors, pastors, you know, Christian doctors, anyone like that who is sitting down with these kids and they're sharing with them about Christ and they're sharing with them the scriptures and the lifestyle and all of that. And what this executive order is now doing is that it is going to basically penalize, you know, these doctors, these therapists and counselors from doing just that, from sitting down with these kids and ministering them the gospel of Jesus Christ. The governors call it harmful. It's not harmful. It's needed for them to know what the Bible says about this. Yes, God loves them. He loves them so much that we're to sit down with them and tell them that, look, what it says here in the scripture, this is what you have to follow. You're essentially saving these kids by taking the time to talk with them about the struggles of what they're going through, why they're going through it, and what Jesus says about it. But they want to take that all away. Now, why wasn't this passed through the legislative process? Well, because Minnesota is actually controlled by a Republican-controlled legislature. So the governor, the Democratic governor here said, eh, I'm just going to go the executive order route and I'm going to supersede that. Now, this is the first step to doing what he wants to do is an outright ban altogether of this so-called therapy. And eventually this will go beyond just, you know, 18 years and younger. He'll just have this for all ages. That's what they want here. I mean, they, they want to put a whole entire ban in the entire country. They would love to do this at the federal level. And, well, I've talked about legislation that they have pending right now that's currently having some issues in the Senate going through that would allow for just that. But this is a shame, and many conservative groups and family groups there in Minnesota have spoke out against this, Governor Walls, and his decision to go ahead and now try to ban this, uh, these counselors from speaking to these kids about Christ, uh, and trying to get them to come to Jesus. And that's now considered the wrong thing to do. But when you have a society like ours, you take a look at America right now, where we are, where we're going, we're going in the wrong direction. But at the same time, that means that Jesus Christ is coming back soon. And that's why we do these videos. As a matter of fact, we do them because we talk about the fact that we're in the last days and Jesus is coming back soon. But are you ready to meet him? Do you have him as your Lord and Savior? If not, we want to give you this opportunity right now to receive Christ. And how you do this by first acknowledging that you're a sinner. We all are. But God gave his son Jesus Christ to die on the cross for the sins of all the world. He died and rose again for you and me. 
See, he's paid the cost, but what you have to do, and you have a role, you have to repent of your sin. Repent means to turn from that sin, not just to say you're sorry. You have to actually repent from a lifestyle, turn from these lifestyles, habits, anything that goes against the word of God. You ask Jesus to forgive you, he wipes that sin away. The Bible says he won't even remember it anymore. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. I will have more for you guys on this down below. You can let me know your thoughts. Don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. It is a great blessing if you can help us out. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.